What's going on guys, it's Gary, and today I'm back with a new tutorial on how to create a pretty nice Deadpool themed header. And uh, before I go on to this, I'm going to say I'm going to apologize pretty much for all of the uh, the lack of content on my YouTube channel. So uh, I've been streaming all every day on Twitch.tv with my friends either playing Xbox at night, in the daytime, and we're playing Rocket League. So go in the description right now, go follow my Twitch channel, peep in the streams every now and then, and have a great time. So uh, to get into this tutorial, what we're going to do is pretty much... Uh, open up a news document 1500 by 500 is pretty much fine so uh before i start like talking about this if you guys want to buy this instead of uh, making it it will be in the description for a dollar for my sell file link and that's pretty much it so uh next thing you guys want to do is pretty much just change your background color straight to black because we're going to be working off black backgrounds as you guys can see in this and i'm going to be using this as a uh as a, like a reference when i go going back and forth so the first thing you guys are going to need is a background of some sort. So I'm using the theme Deadpool just because of the circular logo. It's just a lot easier to work with. You guys can use pretty much anything you want. So uh, on Google, if you type in like Deadpool movie, like a wallpaper, something's going to pop up. This is why I'm using Deadpool. As I said before, you guys can literally use anything. Just I'm using Deadpool for an example. All you want to do is paste it in and just make it black and white. Literally all you want to do, any background you do, all you want to do is make it black and white. You guys can like zoom it out a little bit, center it again, doesn't really matter where you put it. And then you guys want to lower the opacity. Probably like 48. So uh, then all we want to do is go to right here, actually put this back up to 100. What you want to do now is go to your adjustments and make an exposure. And we're going to add this exposure first for one reason. You guys will see when I start making the banner what's going to happen. Just pretty much mess with the gamma, mess with the offset, and make it like a kind of like a grungy feel. And then you guys can just now you can lower the opacity of your banner. I'm gonna cough or something, I'm gonna sneeze. Alright, so the next thing you guys wanna do is pretty much find your logo. So what I did is I just saved a uh, Deadpool logo. You guys really anything that works, there's really nothing you guys specifically need. If you guys are going to be making uh, this for like a team, the Dare logo, Horizon logo, my logo, any logo would really work. Just uh, circular things look a little better when it's going to be in another circle. So what we're gonna do is just pretty much center this, shrink it a little bit, and find like a nice size. Don't wanna make it too big, too small. Just center it. So after this is done, what you wanna do now is finally start working on the texturing. So what you wanna do is go back and just type in like Deadpool wallpaper and what you're gonna find is a wallpaper like this this is what I'm gonna use for this just copy it and then paste it in immediately make it black and white and then hold alt and just pretty much attach it to this after that's done you guys can mess with the your settings I'm gonna put this one on linear burn lower the opacity just a little bit not too much and then you guys can just move it around to where you like it and then you guys can start working with stuff so uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is make a uh, black circle around this. So just grab your ellipse tool, grab a black color, and just make it a decently bigger size. Nothing, nothing too crazy. It's all about making stuff even and nice. You guys can see. Oops, wrong one. Wrong tab. You guys can see it's a little bit. Nothing too crazy. And then what we want to do is pretty much. Control J this background, put it on the lips, pull the opacity up, put it on normal, put it back down. So you guys can pretty much see what looks good, what, looked, what doesn't. Find a good uh, size for it and good setting and then you guys are pretty much set. Now how to make this start working, all you have to do is hit Control J on the ellipses and then just work from the bottom to top. So you guys can see it just made this a little bigger. I can match the colors a little more. Try to leave it up there. Control J the wallpaper, put it below, and then attach it to the lips using Alt J, and then just move it somewhere else. Never keep it the same. Just keep moving it around, and then you guys can up the opacity, make it a little darker. So you guys have that pretty much. You guys can go back, as I said before, keep looking at this for a reference. So uh, to add more of like an outer ring style, what I like to do is I'm gonna make this actually a little bit brighter I should move it, just move it around there you go to make this the ring all I do is hit control J in the lips take the fill and put it to zero right click blending options and I put an inner stroke in 
and you guys can put it to any color. I'm gonna put it to white. Put it on like seven. Control T, make bigger, a like a, a not enormous amount, but very noticeably bigger. And then right click, go back to blending options, go to your stroke, and let's put the inner stroke in to however you feel is a good size, something like this. And then make a new layer, hit uh, Control E on the new layer in the ellipse, and you guys will have this ring. So it's basically the easy way of getting around the, making the ring. There's other ways, this is just the easiest one for me. Same thing with the wallpaper control J. And you guys can put it wherever you want. I'm gonna kinda up the opacity a little bit, make it a little more spooky. And you guys got that. So uh, let's just say you guys wanna have part of it red. What you can do is actually hit control E on the uh, attached layer of the clipping mask and also the lips. And this, let's just say we're gonna cut it in half. Like this, delete it, you can hit like control V again. You can put this one back. You can change the uh, color overlay to red and make sure it's on linear burn. You can like break it in the middle, just say you wanna chop it down through the middle again. And then you guys can just say we're gonna duplicate it. We're gonna bring it upwards. And we're gonna take our eraser. And we're gonna fade this one down. Same side, the same thing, just fade it. You got a cool little effect going on. So uh, it's pretty much all you guys can really do is guys can keep messing around with shapes. But uh, other stuff I like to do is I'll just make a new layer under everything. I'll just make it, let's just say a white rectangle. And I'll just bring it straight through the middle. And I'll center it. Same thing as we're doing before, just grab that, that one wallpaper layer, attach it to the background. And then you guys can just mess with your opacity. So, uh, pretty much this is all you do. Um, it's nothing really crazy. You just have you guys have to like really choose a, a wide spot. Like right here, I always like adding a little bar just because it's something to put in the just a random space. It just fills it up neatly, and it's not just boring to look at. There's always that one extra thing. As I said before, just choose a nice angle too, or a spot on the wallpaper. Don't get too crazy. It's just a header. Don't get too crazy on this. So uh, basically, other stuff I did, I just added uh, like all their like lines and stuff. This is what you guys can do for just a random effect. You guys can make a new layer, grab like a white, and just make like a little line here. Make another one down like the same size, and then bring it to the other side. You guys can like merge these put it on like soft light or something. And then what I like to do is I go all the way to the top, make a new layer, grab my uh, my brush tool. You guys can put it on any size, like 400. Zoom out and then just kind of highlight the top like that. And lower the opacity. Put it under the exposure. All right, and uh, I'm gonna lower that a little more. And then you guys can uh, click on your exposure Click adjustments, you guys can go to like color balance, hue and saturation. You guys can make the saturation a little more, make the red a little more intense. Lightness a little darker, brighter. It doesn't really matter. You guys can really mess with this yourself. This is a big e experimenting style. There's really no right or wrong answer. It's good to know. And then of course, you guys can go to the bottom, make a new layer, and then put a white blob or something. And lower the opacity. So well, we're not done yet, what we want to do is add your text. So you guys can add your text any other way. What I did here is I just made a rectangle and I just made an inner stroke and rasterized it. How I did that, I grabbed the rectangle, made it a decently, a decently recognizable size, bigger, put it in the middle, centered it in the middle, and then I just put an inner stroke on it, red. Doesn't matter what size, you guys can put it like a nine or a 10. Same color already been working with. New layer, rash dries. Grab that wallpaper again and just attach it to it. And then lower the opacity. So you guys can pretty much do that, add your text. Um, any font counts, any font will do. Just a cool thing to effect. So well, I'm gonna delete that now because I kinda like this just chilling. So uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is open up like a blood splatter. So what I did, I went in Google again. Just typed in like blood splatter PNG. 
and went to images, grabbed like, the first one literally. Doesn't really matter because it's not going to be that noticeable. You just want something to uh, fill up the space. You can grab this and just, oh, wrong one again. Oh god, I'm getting crazy. Grab one, just put it in like the bottom left hand corner and duplicate it and just throw it in like the top like right or something. Just, just to add space because you don't want it to be too boring in the middle or too boring on the edges and good in the middle. Just gotta even out the space. You guys can add like stars, uh, textures. You guys can add like 60 packs textures. You really can do anything you want. It doesn't take long. You guys can see it only took like about 10 minutes. So uh, really, you guys can purchase this on my sale buy for a dollar. But this is actually a really easy style. If you guys want me to go more into it on just the uh, geometric kind of shape styles, let me know. Also, definitely go follow my Twitch right now because we're going to be streaming every day. And it's just really fun to hang out. And I answer pretty much every question in the chat. If you guys like start linking stuff, my moderators will time you out. But I try to refrain from that. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, leave a thumbs up. And uh, thank you guys so much for 5,600 subscribers. I'm almost at 5,700 already. And also, if you guys haven't already, definitely go check out the giveaway in the description below. You guys can win some free keyboards, free mouses, and free stuff. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. If you did, enjoy, subscribe, and leave a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys later on. Peace out.